Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Also, thank you, Dungeon Mommy on YouTube, for the commissioned video. Hey. Are you waking up already? Oh, don't scream, you can't, because, well, you're gagged and tied down to a chair. So, there won't be a lot of, uh, struggling from you. No, would they? No, 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 of course not, of course not. So, how was your, uh, little nap there, huh? You were just sleeping like a baby. Must have hit you harder than I thought, huh? <laughs> so, uh, how are you doing this fine night? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't talk. <laughs> uh, I just love messing with you people, huh? <laughs> so, here's the deal. Um, why I have you here in this little abandoned shack out in the woods you see I'm a little low on my killing count and my boss told me to go get my head count up a little bit and well I saw you you weren't doing much, so I told myself, hey, they don't look like they own shit. So that's why I hit you with the end of my gun here, and knocked you out, brought you into an alley, tied you up, and then, well, I basically fireman carried you all the way out here. And, well, you woke up, and now we're here. Ta-da! <laughs> no, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up! No one's gonna hear you out here. Not a single person's gonna hear you out here. We're deep in the woods. Deep in the woods. The woods where my boss likes to roam around. So don't be surprised if you see him around. <laughs> so, there are a lot of things that uh, we could do right now. You could, uh, you know, keep squirming in that chair and, uh, you know, scream for help. A lot of things like that, really. You can, uh, I don't know, try to attack me, but that'd be kind of stupid because I'm the one with the gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be a really stupid idea. But uh, I don't think you can do that, can you? Can you do that? No, 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 you can't because, well, like I said, you're stuck and you're tied down in that chair. Yeah, I don't think you're going to go anywhere for a little bit. <laughs> so, um, let's get to know each other for a little bit. I don't think I introduced myself, have I? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. So, hi. I am Masky. What's your name? Right, you can't speak. Uh, I'm just going to assume that your name is something nice. And, well, 
I am an adult. I what I do for work is well. Um, I work for this uh, very tall, lengthy guy. He's got a pale white skin. And, uh, oh, yeah, he's also, like, a paranormal entity. Yeah, he likes to, uh, lure lots of people, children, old people, lots of people. Lure them into these woods, make them play a little game of finding all his pages before, you know, eventually he gets a little too pissed off that he found too many pages and kills them. I work for that guy. I basically do most of the uh, scavenging for killing people. That's my job. And afterwards, I uh, get paid for it. Don't know where he gets this money from, but you know, money is good money, especially if it's coming in plenty. Like he's doing. Oh, he also gave me this little mask here. The one I'm wearing. This one. Yeah, he kind of gifted it to me. And every time I wear it, I feel... different. Like something takes over me. Something... evil. Like that. Something that makes me go a little bit more crazy than I usually am. But if I take off the mask, well, I'm kind of still the same person. Just without a mask. <laughs> So, that's my intro. Hi. You didn't happen to have cigarettes on you, did you? Ah, shit. I've been really looking forward to finding someone with some cigs on them. Yeah, I have a little bit of a nicotine problem. Uh, you know, been smoking cigarettes since uh, a few years ago, and I just can't stop. It relieves some stress off my shoulders. Because, you know, killing people is kind of a hard job, especially when you have to deal with screaming and crying all the time. It's like babysitting in a while, a little bit, yeah. So, in that case... You're kind of like a little baby, aren't you? Because you're crying right now. You have no idea where you are or who I am. Even though I just introduced myself. Which is crazy. I'm thinking that we're just hanging out. Mm. Reality of this, you're just a little... Mm, how should I say this? Pay bonus. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do love my job, really. It's, it helps me a lot. With all the, uh... Voices. <laughs> but, uh, mostly it's just for the killing, and, um... I do usually have a partner with me. His name's Hoodie. And, he, well... I think he's doing something else right now. Probably killing. But, you know. Without him around, I could do whatever the fuck I want. So, here is how we are going to do this. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to go uh, put this mask back on. Right? Right? And uh, after I put my mask back on, this is the last little face that you're going to see. Because I'm going to shoot you. It's going to be uh, interesting, really. Interesting to see that uh, little face of yours. Your eyes widened, bloodshot, and, uh, you know... Bang! And then that little face of yours is just gonna be a little. There's gonna be a hole inside of it. Yeah. 
But hey, what are you going to do? That's my job after all. <laughs> okay. Well, I think our little uh, get together here, it was nice, right? It was fun. It was so fun. But I think our little show has ended. So I'm going to have you look down into this barrel real quick. Pretend it's a camera, all right? <laughs> Smile for the camera. It's a curtain call. <laughs> oh yeah that's gonna be one hell of a mess for someone to clean up <laughs> uh, on to the next one